So Angie is the most special person in my life. She's the most special person I've ever met. I met Angie at Cornell. That's probably the best, the best story of my life. Um, so I was an engineering student at Cornell, uh, living in a dorm that was divided by gender and discipline. So I lived in the male engineering student wing of the dormitory. Um, so every one of my neighbors were both um, other men and they were engineering students. And I remember one Saturday, I was uh, carrying a laundry basket to go do my laundry and I'm walking down the hallway where everyone's an engineer um, and um, I heard music coming out of one of my friend's rooms. Uh, and you never hear music on this floor. So I walked by this room and the door was open and there was music playing and there was a my friend sitting at the desk in his room, I don't know, he was doing differential equations or something, but further in his room was this woman dancing to the music with her eyes closed, with her arms up as if she was dancing with an imaginary partner. So I, when I saw this, I quietly put my basket down on the floor and then I snuck into the room and I slipped up into her arms and started dancing with her and she opened her eyes and I didn't say a thing. I, um, I just kept dancing with her as the music played. And then when the music stopped, I said, hi, my name's Marcus, what's your name? And she said, Angie. I said, well, Angie, I'm so glad to meet you, but I've got to go do my laundry. And um, that's how we met. 